See, every time you turn it, the landscape changes. And, you know, the mind just kind of gets disturbed by that. You know, you have emotional connection to the landscape. I do anyway. I try not to work on paintings until I have some sort of clarity. I think one day I usually come into the studio and I know where to go with it. It might be my own contrarian nature, but I, um, I don't really want to know. And I don't really want to talk about it because it kills the joy for me. I, I like to come here and be constantly surprised by what's, hap by what's happening. I don't know why I am happy functioning in these amorphous, chaotic situations, more so than structured situations. Maybe it has to do with where I came from, where I was born and raised. I was more aware of art because my parents had a nice large uh, art books library. So I would just, I wasn't allowed to touch any of them, but of course I did. Most of the models worked for me for many years. Their bodies is like diaries of their life. You know, all the good habits, bad habits, traumatic events, happy events. It's all instantly recorded on the body. At the same time, that thing is responsible for soul and for the music and the poetry and art. And to me, it's fascinating. Um, so you want to look at it because there it all is contained in that. But how it's connected is not clear. People are uncomfortable with undefined and amorphous things. They just want to know what is it. Sometimes I try to leave things rough and somebody always invariably yells at me. I think there is some truth in unpolished images because though it's not clear, it's quite alive that way. <laughs> 